Greetings people, this is Keith and Modesto doing my Let's Play Minecraft series using the Forge Mod Loader and the Direwolf 20 Mod Pack. Alright, I'm back, I'm back behind the house because this is where we're going to build, where I'm going to build two, uh, two farms using two farming stations from Ender.io. I started this build last episode, I believe, if I'm remembering this right, and I made, um, I made two little rooms underneath the ground here. There's going to be a farming station there, and there's going to be a farming station here. I've not used this block before, so um, I'm not sure how smoothly this is going to go, by which I mean I'm, I'm afraid it's not going to go smoothly. But we will just go ahead and get started by placing down one of the farming... I made this farming station last episode, and then um, I guess I'll put this other one down here so it won't be in my inventory. I... I, uh, I made another one off camera. There's a number of things I did off camera, like like getting this area ready. Anyway, um, whatever else I'm going to have to be doing, I'm it's going to need a hoe and an axe in here. All right, and then there's going to be. Well, let's go ahead and hook up the. Let's go ahead and hook up the power first. I. There's a number of things that have to go on, and I'm going to, I guess, kind of simplify things to begin with, and then once I know things are working, I will fancy things up. Like, so, for instance, right, the, the, these dimensional transceivers, they're an Ender-IO block. They're, they're a lot like um, Tesseracts. Um, so they can, have, they can handle energy and items and fluids. I don't know if Tesseracts handle fluids directly. I think, no, I think they do. But anyway, um, just going to use that for we're just going to use this for power initially but there there that's all going well um, so where do I put in oh here we go okay so uh, main power we'll call this main power that seems to be tradition traditional Send. Send. Oh, we don't want. Wait, 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 wait. That's not what we want. That's not what we want. We want energy. That's how you do this. Gee, I, I played with this last episode. I'm forgetting everything already. Okay. Main power plus send on energy. Good. Okay, that's what we want. Now, we go over here. We're gonna do this one first. So there is our um, there's our, our farming station. So we're gonna plop. I guess that torch is not in the best spot. I guess we'll just put it here. Okay. So this is going to on energy. We're gonna receive power. All right. So it's getting power. Cool. And then we need to connect the power to the farming station. There we go. So our farming station should be getting power and it is good. And we might as well, while we're doing this, I don't think I grabbed this, but uh, you know, or maybe I did. It would, if, it, if I have it, it would be in this bag. And no, I didn't think so. Oops. Okay. Oh, where am I? Okay. Um, we're gonna put uh, double-layered capacitors in there. I know I made some. Okay. Okay. So put one in there. And then we'll put one in there. And I'm not going to worry about this one for a while. I'm just 
setting that up. Okay, so besides uh, energy, we also have to get items in and out. So we're going to go ahead and put these item decks here. Did that go? There we go. And. Doom, 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 doom. This is what makes me think maybe I did not set this up quite the way I want it to be. I like the texture though on that, this, um, whatever it's called, dimensional transceiver. It looks pretty cool. Um, yeah, I'm not wanting this to connect. Well, I will, I'm gonna, I will worry about this later. Actually, uh, yeah, that'll work. That'll work fine. Okay, so let's put this here. That goes there. Okay, so, and we need a wrench. So this is going to be both um, in and out, in and out, insert, extract, always active, and we're going to have filters in there eventually. Okay, so what are we going to put in this first one? This is all going to be, I think this will all be trees. So let's get some tree saplings. We want tree saplings that... Um, we want to make surplus tree saplings, and we want the saplings that um, can be used in the biofuel, the bio, the biofuel reactor, the one that makes, um, the one that makes biofuel. Yeah, what am I saying? Anyway, I'm gonna keep this here and have it just do oak. So I might as well just take this. What is? So what do I have here? Jungle, uh, acacia. What is that? The birch. What else do I want? I think I don't want to worry about that yet. You know, I had acacia, now they're not here. I need more jungle, jungle saplings, and there probably are any. Oh, here are some jungle, 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 jungle saplings. Put that back, I take one stack. Is this spruce? Spruce, that'll work. Okay. So we go over here and we put. There. Oh, it can only handle 632. Oh, I think it's already planting. It is. Well, there you go. I guess I can put more in there. What's busy doing its thing? There, all planted. All right. I don't know how long it'll take to grow. I tried to space this thing out so there'd be room here. And I it looks like it did do that, so that's good. Okay, now, oh, why is that? Oh yeah, I put that there. Okay, so we'll take that off. Oh, we got our first, so I guess it's gonna chop that down. Maybe? There, it did. Poof. Since this is made, this machine is made, one of the ingredients is um, the uh, ender pearl. Or actually, the the ender an, a head an Enderman head that's been you know gussied up. Uh, it uh it just it chops things down in a big poof. Okay, so that's working now. Nothing is being pulled out yet because we haven't set this up. So I well you know let's just try pulling out everything and see what happens. So because it would be really nice if I don't have to use a filter here. Okay, so we're gonna go, is it here? There we go. So uh, we want to extract, oops, always. Yes, always active. So let's see what it pulls. And oh, I guess we need to fix this so that, oh, this is in and out, so it should be, yes, it's already pulling stuff out. So what I wanna make sure, we wanna make sure is it's not, oh, if, if this thing was made in intelligently, and it seems that Ender.io stuff is made intelligently, it should only be able to pull out of the output buffer. Oh, did it pull? You know, the axe probably already broke. But see, those aren't being pulled. Good. Okay, so these saplings aren't being pulled, but stuff here is. And, uh... Oh, how about that? <laughs> He's helping out, um, which is fine. That doesn't hurt anything. Okay, but this thing isn't chopping anything down yet because the axe broke. So let's make another axe and see how it does. 
This is that's another thing we have to we have to work on. And that axe really got used up quickly. Um, but we're gonna try to make a way to to um, to replenish those axes automatically. <clears throat> Okay, let's watch while... Uh-oh, I think it chopped down. Oh no, that's a jungle tree. That's right. Wow. There. Okay, that's the... Oh no, is that him doing? That's... This guy came over here? It's like a race. Maybe I'll have to relocate the golem. Okay, let's sleep through the night before some monsters come and try to blow us up or something. stuff that I've collected here. Um, I can't do that. That's fine. Okay. So what's happening? Is this thing working? Oh, the axe already... It already... That was fast. Is it pulling it out? Oh. Thought it was going to get me, but he died before it could reach me. Maybe I should... Maybe I should... Um... Maybe I should take that golem out for a while. It didn't pull the axe out. It just was destroyed really quickly. I'm gonna I'm gonna take out that golem temporarily. So we can we can see really what so we can really see what's happening. So I do that by getting out my golem answers bell. And I think we're just gonna left click on him. If I can find him. There he is. There we go. We'll put him. Oops. Put him in here. Where are you? Here you go. Put my bell in there too. Oh, there's an axe. Oh yeah, that's right. I put an extra axe in there for this one over here. Okay. So let's put this axe in and see what happens. Ah, I'm stuck. Okay, we should see. We should see trees poofing. Unless the axe already was destroyed again. It was. Oh, that's so fast. Okay, so I guess we need to go ahead and take care of that sooner than I anticipated. Okay. Uh, it's like those, actually, the jungle tree, the, the jungle trees and the Sakura trees both produce a lot of wood. And of course, stone axes don't have a lot of durability, so uh, that didn't help either. I guess I could put a diamond axe in there uh, just to see how long it would last. But what we want to do is is make them on the fly. Okay, so but that seems to work. Now the question is, if I actually let's do let's make a stone axe and put it into the chest and see if it'll put it in the right spot automatically. Uh, Which means I need to make, uh, let's make a couple. One, two, five, you can't, they don't stack. I can't do that. And for this, we'll, need, we'll absolutely have to use a filter for this. So, uh, if we go here, um, let's see, so in, out, insert, yes, so extract is always active, insert, we want to filter, like this one right here, actually, which has, I don't know why that was that way. Let me make sure this isn't got anything on it. There. Okay. So we put the filter there. Insert. We want to just insert that. Match metadata? No, yeah, we do want to match metadata, I think. I'm not sure. But anyway. 
Okay, so it's going to insert stone axes. So let's put these in here and see if one of them disappears. Uh, I'm not seeing anything disappear yet. Did I need to set something else? Green channel, that should be fine. Nothing's happening. Okay, that's not working. Still no X. See how this should make a difference. So let's change that to brown. And let's go over here. You know, maybe this isn't set to insert. That could be the problem. That's right, it's not. Okay, so this that's green. Let's do this in uh, in out. Insert extract is green. And then this is brown. Okay, let's see if it worked that time. Mm -hmm. That's going the wrong way. Insert. We want. Uh. Oh, right. That's odd. I messed things up. Okay. So insert is going to be green, and we're not going to have a filter there. That's always active. Okay. So this extract. That's going to be brown. And this is where we're going to have the filter. There. Did it work that time? Oh, I think it did. OK, the axe didn't last very long, though. Like, they were gone instantly, apparently. And there's wood up there. I need to get it. OK. But it's going to be dark soon. Where'd it go? I'm seeing, I'm seeing things. Okay, I guess it got taken care of already. Okay, let's try this again. I'm gonna make two more. We're gonna make a couple more axes and put them in there and see what happens. I think it's working now. Oh, I'm out of sticks. I'm gonna make a bunch of them so that we can see this thing running for a while. Ah, I always have this, this, this sojourner sash makes it hard to get through doorways. Okay, so bum, 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 bum. We can see how quickly the axes get used up. That axe is almost dead. Oops. I'm seeing wood up there. Oh, it's gone. Okay. I think there are fewer axes in there.
Oh, there's another. Got another axe. Okay, let's see what it looks like from the outside. I think it's like caught up with cutting down grown trees, and so it's not running quite so constantly. So maybe we'll get to see see what it looks like when when it's actually cutting a tree down. Oh, there's my timer. I want to see it. I want to see a, a tree grow and get chopped down. There we go. Poof! All at once. All right. As long as there's axes. Okay. Well, we're we're kind of out of time, so we need to wrap up. I guess what we'll do in the next episode is automate the crafting of more of more axes and I guess as long as we get them in this, to this chest it'll work. I might rearrange things in here. Um, I am gonna rearrange things. Hmm. I'm kinda wishing that were faster. Okay. Well, okay, so I guess that's been a, a success. It is it is acting the way we want. Now we just got to get, we got to find a better place to store all this stuff because this chest to fill up, and we got to get axes. Uh, we got to craft axes automatically, which is what this is here for. Um, so, and I've made other things to, to do that with, and that shouldn't be too hard. Okay, so this has been Keith and Modesto working on a new tree farm. It will also be a melon and pumpkin farm eventually. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a fantastic day.